Greetings friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 21 through 22, and the quote is by William Marion Branham, from the message entitled, Sirs, We Would See Jesus. This message was preached on April the 9th, 1961. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. The scriptures does not contradict themselves. And there's no scripture in the Bible that contradicts itself. I've asked for that for years and years. No scripture, no statement uh, can contradict itself unless it can be straightened with the rest of the word of God to rightly put it together, which Jesus thanked God for, that it was hid from the eyes of the wise and prudent and would be revealed to babes such as would learn. See? Now, we got to be humble in this. We've got to throw away our ideas about it. We've got to accept God's plan of it. That's the only way you'll ever be able to get anywhere with God for salvation, for soul, or body. It'll have to come through God's provided plan. Now, if you've got an artesian well on this side of the mountain, spurting water by the millions of gallons an hour, and a crop on the other side burning up, for water. Now you could stand and scream until your uh, tuck your tonsils out and would and scream, "Oh, great water! Come over here and water my crop." It won't do it. No, sir. It'll stay right there. But if you work according to the laws of gravitation and get this water to come around the mountain and water your crop, it'll do it. If you'll work according to the laws. Now there's enough electricity in this room to light the room. If it was correctly, and like we'd be out in a big field where it's dark. And we know that Franklin and so forth has proved that science, that electric's in the air. Now, take a copper wire and hold it up, drop it down, and you, the static the electricity will pick up to almost light the earth if it's a mile high in the air, would set the earth afar. Now, you could stand out in that field and scream as loud as you wish you, I'm lost, I'm lost, great electric Come now and light the way up that I can see how to get in out of this darkness. It'll never do it. But if you'll work according to the laws of electricity, well, it'll light the way up so he can get out. But you have to work according to those laws. Now, God has a law too. And there's healing and salvation in God's termination for you if you'll work according to his plans and his laws on such. So that's the way we must... Plan the meeting. That's the way seven times around the world I have been of all different races, kinds of people by the tens of thousands. I have seen great things that our Lord has did, but I always notice that it takes people that will humble themselves and lay aside their own thoughts of it and just take God's thought of it and work according to his plan, which is faith in what he said. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message-related content that we produce, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you, and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode, or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? 
pray for us, and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.